picture it. It's 1991. You have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles poster on your wall and a Nintendo NES plugged into your bulky TV. In 2021, that poster might be of the Avengers, and the PlayStation 5 is the console of choice. It's time to blast back to the past and compare a typical day in 1991 to 2021. Rise and shine. In 1991, the first thing you might do in the morning is hit the snooze button a few times on a monotonous alarm clock, either bleeding in your ear or blaring a traffic report from your clock radio. Once out of bed, you get the morning newspaper from the front step to read over breakfast. In 2021, your smartphone probably functions as your alarm clock, but it still probably delivers that rude awakening. Your phone is also your newspaper and inbox to check emails so that you can kill several birds with one stone before your head even leaves the pillow. Your work day has already started before you've even had your morning coffee. As for choosing what to wear, by 2021, there's probably an app for that. But in a post-pandemic world, you might be working from home, in which case it's only necessary to be presentable from the shoulders up. Cue the sweatpants slash dress shirt combo. 30 years ago, mom might have left for the office in a power suit and dad definitely wore a tie to work. Work wear is out the window now, but many trends from 1991 have stood the test of time. Scrunchies are a staple among teenage girls of both today and yesteryear. The grunge aesthetic of flannel shirts and ripped jeans cultivated in the early 90s still rocks to this day. If you're caught in stirrup pants, however, you might garner some questionable looks from contemporary fashion police. On a typical weekend morning in 1991, you might have woken up early to watch cartoons or played with the latest Barbie or WWF action figures. The Super Nintendo was the most popular toy in 1991 and was a 16-bit update to their 1988 model. Kids in 2021, however, might spend Saturday mornings on their iPads, playing games or streaming shows through Disney+. Some kids may even have social media accounts to update. While toys remain popular, life for a kid in 2021 is a lot more digital. But hey, isn't everyone's? On the way to work. Come Monday, if you needed to fuel up on your way to work or school, you'd be paying $1.14 a gallon on average in 1991. In the car, the talk radio hosts might discuss the Hubble telescope launch or how George H.W. Bush is doing in the White House. You could sing along to Madonna's Justify My Love or Good Vibrations by Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Nirvana's iconic album Nevermind was also released in the fall of 1991. You definitely went back to school smelling like teen spirit. The album changed music and 30 years later still has sticking power. Compare Nirvana's milestone with Taylor Swift's 2021 reassertion of herself as a pop star sensation. She dropped both Folklore and Evermore at the end of 2020 and re-recordings of both Fearless and Red by the end of 2021. That's four albums in a year. The age of streaming also makes it a lot easier for artists to distribute their music. Chances are you've ditched your car radio entirely for a Bluetooth connection and your own personalized playlists. Cars made in 2021 don't even come with a CD player anymore. And if you have to fuel up, the price of gas did, of course, rise in 30 years to over $3 per gallon. That is, if your car still runs on gas. Electric vehicles became more and more commonplace in 2021, and the demand continues to rise. Companies like Tesla have waiting lists miles long. In 1991, the best-selling car was the Honda Accord. 30 years later, the Honda Accord has a hybrid engine and driver assist technology. Your 1991 model might not have even had electric windows. Please take a quick sec to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Good afternoon. 
It's lunchtime, and if you were living in 1991 with an on-the-go lifestyle but still wanted to stay healthy, you could have ordered the McLean Deluxe at McDonald's. The burger was 91% fat-free, and it used some sort of Frankenstein technology that combined water and beef with seaweed extract, which sounds kind of icky. Maybe that's why the McLean lasted less than a year on the menu. In 1991, you were just happy you could get your McD's meal without having to undo your seatbelt at the drive-thru. If you told someone then that in 2021 you could get your McDonald's order delivered without even leaving your couch, they'd be astounded. Delivery apps like Uber Eats and Skip the Dishes changed the delivery game for many restaurants. As your work or school day drones on, you might look for some distractions to get you through that afternoon slump. In 2021, your smartphone serves as a lifeline when attending tedious meetings or sitting through a snooze-worthy math class. Your phone is a source of endless entertainment and distraction. You can scroll through TikTok with one AirPod discreetly in your ear or send a quick text to your friend across the room. In 1991, pagers served as a kind of texting device. On the pagers' tiny screen, you only had a few characters to communicate your message. Friend groups developed secret codes that usually led to phone calls, maybe from a payphone. A definite relic by 2021 standards. In 2021, not many of us could survive a day without our phone. The smartphone has even been harnessed as a tool at work and school. Companies use apps like Slack for internal messaging, and there are platforms where school assignments are posted and graded. The iPhone 13 was unveiled in September 2021, and it's said to have the best camera on any smartphone yet. You could probably use it to shoot a movie. Tell that to a budding filmmaker in 1991 who might have had to shoulder their hefty camera Atlas style. Smartphones are essential in modern life now, but just 30 years ago, the most popular cell phone was the Motorola Microtech. The phone served as a status symbol as people would dramatically flip it open and extend the antenna. Computers and you. When it's time to get working, chances are that the only computer in your 1991 life was at the office or in the school computer lab. The first web page was only launched on August 6, 1991, as the internet became available for public use for the first time. In 2021, Mark Zuckerberg took us into the metaverse, a hypothetical network of 3D virtual worlds meant to facilitate social connection. The World Wide Web was just just getting started in 1991, and 30 years later, tech developers are dreaming of ways to live online full-time. Desktops of the early 90s were also big and bulky, nothing like the razor-thin screens of 2021. Almost everything is done online nowadays, from work to play, banking, gaming, and social media. Most people even have multiple computers, especially if you consider the capabilities of your smartphone. Laptops allow you to have access to your computer while on the go. No need to be chained to your desk anymore. In 2021, most files are stored in the cloud, or you might have an external hard drive if you're a real digital hoarder. This beats the afternoons you might spend in 1991 searching through your desk drawers for that one floppy disk that stores just a singular document or program. But if you need an actual physical document on real paper today, you can just send it to a wireless printer and not have to spend an afternoon in line at the copy store like you would have had to 30 years ago. When your work or school day comes to a close, you usually power down your computer, which in 1991 would take a half hour, then hope the traffic isn't too bad getting home. In 2021, it's a lot easier to wrap up your day. All you need to do is say goodbye to your online classroom or share some parting pleasantries on your final Zoom meeting of the day, close your laptop, and get ready to relax. Time to cook. After a long day at the office or at school, chances are you've worked up an appetite. As a kid, or kid at heart, in 1991, you could come home and indulge in a fruit roll. Fruit by the Foot debuted in pantries across the nation and has been a snack time staple ever since. 
Hopefully this wouldn't ruin your dinner. And how much did it cost to make dinner back then? On average, you would spend 70 cents for a loaf of white bread, and grade A large eggs would set you back $1.10 per dozen. If you ran out of milk, you could get another gallon for about $2.76. A carnivore in 1991 would pay 89 cents per pound of chicken and ground beef clocked in at $1.65 per pound. Looking at the ingredients in your fridge, you might turn to a recipe book or magazine for inspiration. And if you set the meatloaf on fire or ruined the mashed potatoes, there was always takeout as a backup. In 2021, cooking at home gained renewed popularity because the pandemic forced the temporary closure of many restaurants. Yet, 2021 food prices continued to skyrocket. One pound of ground beef was now almost five bucks. With YouTube cooking tutorials and endless food blogs, every recipe can be found on the web, which frees up a lot of shelf space where your cookbooks used to go. In 2021, there are also way more options for people with allergies or looking to eat a more healthy diet. Oat, almond, and soy milk beverages have become just as popular and common as traditional dairy milk, and gluten-free options from pasta to crackers are also widely available. What's on TV? With a full tummy and while the dishes are drying on the rack, you might turn on the nightly news. The prominent events of 1991 included the rising tensions in Iraq and the Middle East with Operation Desert Storm. In 1991, the Soviet Union broke apart and it marked the final year of the Cold War. Unfortunately, the world lost musical legends such as Freddie Mercury and Miles Davis. Although he wouldn't have made news at the time, pop sensation Ed Sheeran was born in early 1991. In January of 2021, you might have watched Joe Biden's inauguration on the news. And of course, the pandemic is a constant fixture of the 24-7 news cycle. Someone from 1991 would probably find the current state of affairs unfathomable. Social distancing, travel restrictions, and even the concept of wearing a mask in public would have seemed alien to someone even five years ago, let alone 30. If you just wanted to tune out and be entertained, shows such as Murphy Brown, Full House, and Cheers were must-see TV viewing in 1991. You'd have to catch your favorite show when it aired, or set your VCR to tape it. If you failed to do so, you were out of luck and missed the episode. In 2021, people don't really watch TV like this anymore. Popular releases like Squid Game, WandaVision, and Ted Lasso are likely streamed and binge-watched in one sitting. If the episodes drop weekly, you can keep up to date on your own time, as long as you steer clear of all the people to avoid spoilers. In 1991, if you wanted a night out on the town, you could go to your local movie theater and watch soon-to-be classics like Silence of the Lambs or Goodfellas, movies still beloved by a 2021 crowd. Especially because in 2021, it was unlikely that you caught a movie in a theater due to restrictions, so you relied on the catalog provided by streaming services. Hollywood had to adapt to the socially distanced world, releasing what would have been blockbusters like Fruella and Black Widow on streaming services instead of having a theatrical release. Whether 1991 or 2021, there's nothing like relaxing on the couch after a long day. In 2021, you might wish you could time travel back 30 years and maybe buy some Apple stock while you're there. Or maybe you're living in the moment and you'll take 2021 for what it was, face masks and all. Maybe you have an eye on the future and are curious about what life will be like in 2051. Who's to say? If these past 30 years are any indication, it's impossible to predict what life will look like. Thanks for watching. Stick around and tap on another great video. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel.